book 257. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about my grandmother's journal. That's right, my grandmother's journal. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, there was a young girl who grew up to be a grown woman. This woman, who was one of my ancestors no less, when she got older, prayed to God daily to give her a daughter that she could raise in love once she found a husband and had children. Over time, this woman got married and had four children, but all of her children were boys. She loved her boys with all of her heart, but deep down she wished she was blessed with a little girl. Accepting her fate, this woman raised her four sons, and all four of them soon became grown men, and they all got married and had children of their own. When they did, the three oldest sons all had boys as well, but her youngest son had a daughter. This woman, who was now a grandmother, became so excited when she saw that she had a granddaughter that she purchased a home with an extra room. Inside this room, she bought everything that she had dreamed of buying for her daughter when she was younger. Then, as the child grew, the grandmother would get her often and keep her with her at her house. These two did everything together, and the grandmother and granddaughter loved each other very much. The grandmother bought her clothes, toys, shoes, and food, and every time she wanted some company, she would pick her granddaughter up, and they would spend several days laughing, talking, and hanging out. As the granddaughter got older, she slowly became bogged down with the cares of her own life, and she could not be with her grandmother as much as she wanted to. There were times when the grandmother would call her, but she would be busy with either college or work, and it would take several days before she returned the call. The granddaughter felt bad every time she noticed the missed calls and days old text messages, but her grandmother always told her not to worry because she understood she had her own life to live. One day, the grandmother called her to come over, and as was the new norm, the granddaughter did not answer the call. Instead, she told herself that she would go and see her over the weekend when she was off from work. The weekend came, and she went to see her grandmother, and when she did, her heart was broken. Her grandmother, like all humans ever born into this life on planet Earth, had passed away peacefully in her sleep. The granddaughter was distraught, and she felt like a bad person because she did not answer the last call from her grandmother. For months, the granddaughter cried and cried, and she was hard on herself for her neglect of the woman who had done so much for her in life. Then, one day, the granddaughter was going through her grandmother's things, and she found an old journal that was full of entries, entries that dated back several decades. She spent weeks reading through the journal, and she saw how her grandmother had always wanted a daughter of her own, but she had only sons. She also saw how when she was born, her grandmother was so happy, and she felt like God had finally answered her prayers. She had no idea why her grandmother loved her so much, but as she read, it all became clear. The granddaughter then stopped crying from grief, and instead, she cried tears of joy. She realized that her birth was an answered prayer by her grandmother, and she realized why their bond was so strong. While reading the journal, she could feel the presence of her grandmother, and she no longer felt sad about not answering the phone. In that moment, she knew that even though they did not speak every day, her grandmother was happy that she grew to be a strong woman, and her grandmother was happy that she had created a good life for herself. And so, the morning motivation of today is my grandmother's journal. In life, you may never really know how much you mean to someone. Indeed, you could quite possibly have been the answer to the prayers of another. And naturally, when we lose these people, our heart hurts and we feel bad. However, the people that truly love us want to see us do well in life and experience all that we can while we are here. If you are dealing with grief today, just know that the best way to honor the one you have lost is to keep pushing forward with life. Chase your dreams, achieve your goals, and always strive to do that which is good. And remember, you are awesome, you are amazing, you are wonderful, and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning. To order books in the Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels book series, search Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels on Amazon.com or visit www.dandyandbighearn.com.